Burp, burp. <laughs> Sorry, I I'm couldn't have to disavow the entire <laughs> the entire episode, aren't I? Nah, not at all. This, not at all. Well, see, here's the thing. Okay, this stuff is called ski klubin, and it's apparently a Scandinavian akavit, inspired by Scandinavian akavit. Mm-hmm. So you know, on the pod, on the what we watch when we drink pod. You know, last time we were talking, our West Coast buddy was watching some uh, Scandinavian shows, mm-hmm. and I started watching it. And the language is just so funny. It's just so funny. I swear they're making it up as they go along. It's funny to you. It is funny to me. But to them, it's actually their language. I understand. Cards and letters. <laughs> Gila. I'm telling you, it's made up. They make it up as they go along. Oh. It's all improvised. All improvised. Okay, so what do we got, my friend? Stephen Grasse? Grasse? I'm not really sure. Grasse with an E on the end? Grasse? Grasse? Sure, Grasse. A spirit savant and creator of the Hendrix Gin brand. Hmm. And the Tamworth Distilling and Mercantile Company in Tamworth, New Hampshire, are pleased to pronounce, are pleased to announce, Ski Kluven, their celebrated Akavit inspired by the storied Nansen Ski Club in Berlin, New Hampshire. Mm. To commemorate the release, Tamworth Distilling will be making this Ski Club and Akavit available nationally via Sealbox. I just had a pop. And it's also in Art in the Age in Philadelphia. One of the first American distilleries to resurrect, resurrect the old... Oh, oh, my God. One of the first... Mil- Dear God, first day with the glasses? Come on, man. First day with the tongue. Edit. Nah. One of the first American distilleries to resurrect the age-old Scandinavian spirit, Tamworth Distilling puts a scratch-made spin on the Nordic spirit traditionally made with dill and caraway. Hmm. Oh, don't Tamworth count. Distilling's version includes a ginger twist with a floral piquant... Along with cardamom, star anise, 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 star anise, sure, and pink anise. peppercorn, anise. anise. The flavorful shot is a perfect winter sipper and can be used as a seasonal twist on classic cocktails like a Manhattan or a Swedish Mule. Hmm. The baking spices combine with the malty sweetness of root vegetables to create a surprisingly unique mixing tool. The whiskey base, a blend of bourbon, barley, and wheat whiskey, also adds complexity serving as a rich background for the balanced spice of the other ingredients. Let's give it a try. Interesting. And it's called? Ski Klubin. Ski Klubin. Skull. 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 Ooh, I like the way it smells. I like it. Very heavy on the anise, I think. Yeah, you're getting a lot of uh, almost a Sambuca kind of note up front. Almost. But you know what? I almost get a, they said there was a little ginger, too. I can almost get that a little bit, too. Yeah, I kind of cut, one gets cut by the other. Yeah, I think so. What was the one drink they said they could do? Like a Swedish meal? Swedish meal or a Manhattan? I could see a Swedish meal. Totally. This and some ginger beer and a splash of lime. Absolutely. Now, my uh, my mother is uh, raised by an old German. She's a Kimmel fan. She's a Kimmel fan, which Kimmel. is Caraway. Jimmy Kimmel? So, not Jimmy Kimmel. Sydney Kimmel? Not Sydney Kimmel. Just Kimmel. K U M. Oh, Kimmel. 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 So she's a big fan of the wait, caraway. Wait, hold on a second. Does that you have two dots on the top? An umlaut. Does it have an umlaut, umlaut? on the kubel? Kubel. Ski klubben. Go klubben. There's no, there's no umlaut on the um. No. So maybe it's ski clubbing. Uh, I'm not really sure how uh-huh. badly you pronounce this. But I butchered it all the time. Cards and letters. Uh, I apologize to the Swedes. Cards and letters. Gila. <laughs> I'm positive on the now Swedes. We've had a couple of Akavits, the Icelandic. Yeah, we had so the uh, Brenneman. The Brenneman. Right, we had the Brenneman. I think that's it, though. Right? Is that the only one we had? That would be the Black Death. Mm-hmm. I like the smell of this. It smells really good. You know what I can see this being a good rinse for? Like, um, what's the drink? What's the the crap? It'll come to me. One with the rye. The one down in uh, New Orleans. You know, Sazerac. Sazerac. Yeah, I can see this Sazerac out of that. That is really good. Mm. I'm always a little um, hesitant to try stuff that's overly labeled as herbally or yeah. too many Why? spices or too many this or too many that because I think it, it almost becomes too much of stuff mm. and it doesn't really taste like a clean, clear well, spirit do you anymore. mean more like like the stuff, the digestifs and all that crazy yeah. stuff? Yeah, you get into that. And but they get syrupy. And this is not syrupy. And it's syrupy and we've got 15 flavors and it's handed down from my great-grandmother, mm. blah, blah, blah. And it, it's almost something where you just don't want to drink it. 
Hmm. It's antiseptic. You know, you're going to drink it if you're sick. Yeah. You're going to put it in bread when you bake bread. You know, you're not actually going to drink it. This is really, really good. It's, it's very refreshing. It's really good. Yeah. It's, it's dare it's, I say, crisp and clean? Yeah, it's clean. It's really clean. It's a clean you know? spirit. And it just, I don't want to say mouthwash, but it's got that kind of, you know, just a refreshing... It, it has enough of the flavors. Mm-hmm. To keep it interesting yeah. without it being just flavors. Like you get almost like, I can yeah. almost, I get like a little bit of rye, you know, yep. like the caraway yep. seeds, like on yep. a nice one, a really nice, like on caraway really seeds. Nice bread. Yeah. Do you like the seeded rice? I like the seeded rice. Either way, seeded oh, or seeded. Oh, I love it. And it. But it's got enough of the, the rest of it. It's a little minty. Mm-hmm. And it's got enough of the anise, it's got enough of the peppercorns, mm-hmm. it's got enough of everything going in it that. It's very nice. You know what this would go nice with? And we don't have any, but so I'm just telling you well, right now, we don't have what it. We don't have. What we don't have, yeah. Smoked fish. Oh, let's have smoked fish. Oh, we yeah. don't have any of that. Like a little like like smoked salmon or maybe like one of those soft, like thin rye. And clothes. that's probably a Scandinavian kind of thing too. Right? With so, a little bit of like dill good. and a little bit of a yeah. uh, little sour, not sour cream, but like a creme fraiche. Mm-hmm. Uh, that would be nice with this. That would be really nice with this. No, I don't have it. Sure, let's talk up some more things. <laughs> I got some mackerel. I got some. I got some. Uh, and we can lay lay it on the table made out of a million dollars that I just rolled together and <laughs> made a table of it. How about some? How about some? Uh, Use my solid gold knife. Some kippers. Cut. I got some kippers. Want some You're kippers? Just the worst. I got kippers. You want kippers? Just the worst. Come on, I'll break out a tin of kippers. That's really nice. Very I nice. like that. It's very nice. Again, I could see this going with, um, you know, that little snack as I just mm-hmm. said. I could also see this doing. I like the idea of the Swedish mule. That would be really good. Um, a Sazerac, I think, would probably be fantastic with this. You know, or I, I like the idea of coming in from shuffling and throwing back a shot of this. Absolutely, I'm totally on board with that Absolutely. too. Absolutely, I uh, I I really like that the U.S. has decided to embrace some of this stuff mm-hmm. and take their extra distilling time and make something like this. So it's not just a Scandinavian product or just something for coming from Europe. That they've actually gone and invested mm. the time and effort in to put it together. It's really very nice. It's you know it's great because nice. it's, it's not overpowering. No, it doesn't taste like you know sometimes you get that like paint thinner vibe. Yeah, on well, some of these I don't get any of that. I and just get that little it, bit. It comes in at forty yeah. percent. which I think is probably okay. I yeah. mean, it could be a little hotter. Sure, but if it was a little hotter, maybe you'd lose a little bit of the herbals. Maybe, but or maybe nice. we're bringing out more. I don't know. Much hard to say. It's very nice. No, it's good. It's really good. Um, I'm not going to grade it because I really don't have anything to yeah, grade, we compare it against. Yeah, we have experience with it, but it's, it is But nice. I will say it's delicious. I nice. will go back to it. We will play around with it maybe with a couple cocktails. Yeah, we have a new cocktail book. That's right, we do. And, maybe and I can, think they've got some, like, some, it's the world do some traveling thing. Yeah. And I know they go all around Europe, yeah. so I didn't get to the part where they go to Scandinavia, yeah. which I'm sure they're going to Scandinavia at some point. So we got a Nakavit to throw in there. You know, because you figure you got to have, there's got to be something like that could use this in a cocktail. Oh, yeah. yeah. Denmark, just, Sweden, just Norway. Just the ones you threw out there, just the Swedish mule or yeah. a, a, a twist on a Manhattan. I mm-hmm. think they'd all work. So I like it. I like it a lot. And I think we're going to enjoy this. So cheers to the people up in New Hampshire. They've done an outstanding cheers job. Cheers to Tamworth Distilling Tamworth and Art in the Age yeah. and our friends at Punch Media for sending us along. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers.